This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University. And today I wanted to answer the question, does Bitcoin mining waste water? This is a Bitcoin mining machine, also called an ASIC. It's just a little computer that does one thing that you can plug in and use to mine Bitcoin. This is the accusation coming from the BBC that every Bitcoin payment uses a swimming pool worth of water. And that's what I wanted to address today. First question, does Bitcoin mining even use water? Yes, sometimes it does in the same way that watching this YouTube video uses water. This YouTube video that you're currently watching is probably being hosted by a Google data center that is using water to cool the data center or its computers. A Google data center may also be using electricity that has been generated by a hydroelectric plant. In other words, more water usage. I'm not sure that's a bad thing, for example, using electricity generated by a hydroelectric plant rather than burning coal or something like this. Is this really a bad thing? Well, I suppose it's a bad thing if you've already made up your mind that you don't like YouTube videos. You may conclude that watching this video and hosting this video is a waste of water, but surely even the Luddites among us can recognize that online videos can do a lot to make the world a better place. Do computers and in the internet waste water? Yes, but only if you've decided in advance that you don't like computers and the internet. And so I think we should approach Bitcoin mining in a similar way. Does Bitcoin mining waste water? Yes, but only if you've decided in advance that you don't like Bitcoin. And if you don't like Bitcoin, you can also say that Bitcoin wastes metal, plastics, water, electricity, time, space, etc. And making articles like this has provided endless fodder for clickbait and dishonest journalists. In fact, one of the experts cited in the BBC story that I just listed doesn't like Bitcoin, not because of its electricity or water usage, but because he happens to work for the Dutch Central Bank. This is Alex de Vries, also goes by the handle Digiconomist, and his employer is the Dutch Central Bank. Central bankers don't like Bitcoin because it's a competitor to fiat money like euros, dollars, and yen. Holding Bitcoin can help to protect you and your family from the inflation caused by central bankers and their money printers because central bankers like to print money to fund bank bailouts or out of control government deficit spending. So it would turn out that central bankers have a big incentive to fund attacks on Bitcoin like the BBC just put out and to fund attackers like Alex DeVries and Digiconomist. But the really ironic thing here is that the BBC itself uses a lot of water and electricity distributing its articles across the internet. BBC.com is hosted by Fastly, a San Francisco-based cloud service provider that uses water cooling systems in its computer hosting facilities. Is this a waste of water? It could be considered a waste of water if the BBC does not provide honest news coverage of the world. And I think that's up to you to decide. If you don't like the BBC, don't use it. If you don't like Bitcoin, don't use it. But I think it's a bit hypocritical to campaign against things that you don't like using the same criteria that could be equally used to attack things that you do like. Here's another hint that Bitcoin is not bad for the environment. BlackRock, which has been one of the pioneers of the ESG movement, is coming out with a Bitcoin spot ETF in the coming weeks or months. So at least now BlackRock considers Bitcoin to be ESG friendly, as does KPMG. And I'll link to KPMG's long article here on Bitcoin and how positive it is for the ESG imperative. So I would conclude it could be that the BBC is providing an extremely one-sided view of Bitcoin mining. They don't cite perspectives from highly respected companies like BlackRock and KPMG who have also put in the work. Instead, they cite some hack who works for the Dunch Central Bank. And that doesn't seem like very good journalism to me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.